Google has released a new update to its AI chatbot BARD, improving the ability to provide summaries of information and tell users where that information has come from, with promises to cover over 40 languages soon across 180 countries. Hi everyone, in today's session, let's check out some of the latest programming capabilities of BARD. But before we go ahead, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, to stay notified for further updates on BARD, do hit the bell icon. And if you're looking for any of the Edureka's online training course, do check out the link given in the description below. So BARD is now equipped to help with tasks such as producing code, fixing bugs, and explaining codes that are linked to various programming and software development aspects. These new functionalities are available in various languages, including C++, JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, and even Google Sheet functions, and many more. Now let's dive into some of the real-time coding to show you how Googlebot can code in various languages. Let's look at few examples. Let's talk about some Python implementation. So here we ask Bard to code a program in bubble sort to sort a list of elements from the given sample data. Now let's write a Python program to sort a list of elements using bubble sort algorithm. Here we give our sample data and the program defines the bubble sort function that takes a list as input. It uses two nested loop to iterate over the list and compare adjacent elements. If two adjacent elements are in the wrong order over here, it swaps them and this process is repeated until the entire list is sorted. Finally, the program demonstrates the usage of bubble sort function on the sample data and prints both sorted and unsorted lists. Let's check out with the next program in Python, which is also a very frequently asked interview question, which is to write a Python program that iterates the integers from 1 to 50. Also makes use of the keyword fizz and pus for every multiples of 3 and 5. So when you run this program, it will iterate through the numbers from 1 to 50 and print fizz for the multiples of 3 and bus for the multiples of 5 and also fizz bus for the numbers which are both multiple of 3 and 5. Now for the numbers that don't meet any of these condition, it will simply print the number itself. Now let's see some of the JavaScript implementation where we ask Bart to write a JavaScript program to get a full text representation of a month which can be any month such as January or June. So in this program, the bot returns the get full month function that takes the month parameter. Inside the function, we have an array called month names that holds the full text representation of each month. So here finally, it returns the full text representation of the specified month by accessing the corresponding index in the month name array. And if you see that, we subtract one from the month value since JavaScript arrays are zero balance. You can also test the function by supplying a month number as an argument and storing the return value in a variable. So looking at these examples, for any such examples, if you tell the chatbot that this code didn't work, please fix it. So Bard will here assist you in troubleshooting any errors that the generated code may produce. Bard will explain any of the code you don't understand and you may ask it to look at certain sections of the code if necessary. And if a certain piece of code is too slow for your requirements, just ask Bard to speed it up and it will automatically start working to speed it up. So these were a few quite essential illustrations about BARD for developers. If you like this video, click the like button and to stay notified, please hit the bell icon. And like always, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!